vale. Hello, good morning. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Madrid. Uh, we're going to begin since we have a quite busy sessions and panels, so we kind of lose time. I am going to present first our dean or president of the Colegio de Registradores, uh, the board of directors, uh, Gonzalo Aguilera. Uh, he's a land register in, in Valencia. He has been part of several board of directors in the past. In those boards, he has been uh, the head of the IT department in the Colegio de Registradores, developing most of the IT tools are actually in, in use in la land and business registers. Under his mandate uh, in the Colegio IT department, there were created systems for registers interconnections, both for land and business register, and he has been, and is in this moment, advisor for the Ministry of Justice in the General Directorate of uh, Registries and Notary, mostly in question regarding land and business register. Gonzalo, please, open the conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Mrs. President, CEO, RF. Distinguished member of the steering committee, authorities in attendance, member of ECRF, and participant in this conference, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to Madrid as president and behold from the board of director of the Colegio Registradores de España, host of this 18 ECRF annual conference. I will do my best to be brief, but please allow me to share some ideas with you before this conference starts. Spain, like most countries, is just beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel of economic uncertainty. Now perhaps is a good time to reflect on the causes of the longest and thoughtest financial crisis we know since the crash of 29. The motto for this conference is providing reliability, and it is an ambitious endeavor for without reliable institution providing reliable information to the economic agents, sustainable and balanced growth, it is not possible, resulting in a periodical crisis like the one where Berlin is sitting from now. Many reforms and initiatives have been put in place since the Lehman Brothers bankruptcy back in 2008, and preventing this kind of situation from happening again. The root of this crisis lay, in many aspects, on defective and insufficient information, and by defective, I mean inaccurate, false, or tempered with that. The market can only function properly when all economic agents are supplied with trustworthy and accurate like information to back up their decisions. Who are the parties in transaction? Are the parties financially capable and solvent? Do they comply with applicable legislation? These questions are crucial and cannot be left to be answered exclusively by the market. This is why the business registered play a crucial role by supplying information to the market can rely on. The business registered by carefully assessing documents presented for registration at as gatekeeper of legality, only allowing trustworthy and fully complete company to conduct business by disclosing accurate and legally binding information about registered companies. The registered as high qualified legal professional and public servant is the ultimate guarantee that the information the business register disclose is ultimate, reliable, trustworthy and useful. It is up to each state to determine the level of the information either financial or related to corporate governance that should be made public by means of the business register but it is clear that lack of the transparency is against fair play in the marketplace. An estimate of information should be reduced to the maximum possible extent to allow for a healthy and sustainable economic growth. Business registers, a global economy, must adopt cutting edge technology and connect to each other, creating information network 
that foster international trade and economic exchange. But we must be aware that the networks will only be worth, as much as the information they carry and the quality of the information, both legally and technically, should be the number one priority. Initiatives like BRIS, Business Register Interconnection System, will certainly contribute to creating a more transparent environment to the international transaction within the European Union. But this will be ultimately the work of the business register in each country. That we produce a reliable legal information, the market requires, requires and that's our governors and citizens, citizens demand. But before finish, I would like you to feel welcome and at home in Madrid. Our capital is a vibrant city offering lots of cultural and leisure activities. For example, within walking distance from this venue, you have three of the most important art museums in Europe. So, work hard and have fun. I hope you all enjoy your stay with us in Madrid and wish you a very productive and fruitful conference. Thank you for coming and once again, welcome. Hello again. Uh, first of all, I will give a thank you to so, uh, a number of people that has helped a lot with the organization of this conference. In the first, uh, first uh, place, the steering committee. All the members of the steering committee have helped a lot with the organization of this conference. Just trying to bring the people, to make all the logistics, organizing the panels. Thank you, Anik and the rest of the steering committee. Uh, if also uh, with the uh, always difficult part of the numbers and the and the all the money issues, also thank you to Vito who has helped me with the, his experience in Rome and helped me to organize the conference and also Rico Dan uh, he has been uh, helping us with the organization and he has been uh, he has done a great job also. I also would like to thank the dean Gonzalo for uh, putting all the, the staff and the, and the Colegio de Registradores at the service of the conference, and also to Ana del Valle, who is the director of the um, business registers in, in, in Spain, who also has been very involved in the organization of the conference. Uh, just uh, I wanted to say also uh, thank you to all the staff of the Colegio, particularly the secretaries, of the relation, international relations, uh, Mari Carmen, and also in the mercantile department, uh, Mari Eugenia, and also the press department, Eleanor, thank you. You have done a great job. Thank you very much. Uh, and the most important thing, all, thank you all of you for coming. I mean, this is, uh, I, we, I, we hope we are going to have a good time here uh, with the lunch, the coffee breaks, and everything, but the really good thing of the conference is the attendees and the assistants. We have uh, more assistance than we were expecting, so that is a great thing. Uh, we have uh, assistance, as Annika is going to explain you, from all over the world, from Singapore to Emirates, uh, Tunisia, Canada, United States, and uh, all over Europe. So thank you very much. Just to finish, a uh, few logistics. Uh, we'll have the coffee break at uh, 11.30. And before that, uh, I'm going to ask you to make a group photo uh, as quick as possible. Uh, after we will have lunch here in this uh, same building, but in another part of the building, the old part. It's a beautiful rooms there to have the lunch. And uh, after this evening, we will have the um, the dinner, and we will meet just in the in the lobby of the restaurant. That is uh, the City Hall of Madrid. It's a beautiful building on the sixth floor. So thank you, enjoy, and uh, have a good, faithful uh, conference. I'm going to introduce you. Our president, who's going to make the roll call. Uh, well, Annika is uh, well known for all of us. Uh, she's the director general at the company's registration office in Sweden. She started as a lawyer at the Swedish Patent Registration Office in 1996. 
Blagas Berkett started July the 1st, the 2004, and she has worked as the head of the administration and the head of the of development. Uh, Anika has participated in the development of e-services national, nationally and internationally, as a board member of the European Business Register and within the European Commerce Register for, Forum. With the benchmarking, as you will have the opportunity to see, it's a great job she is doing with, with her team. And since 2009, Hanika is a delegate and the chairman of the Swedish government delegation. She's also the deputy chairman of the Swedish Identification Board since 2011. Hanika. Thank you very much, Andreas, for that introduction. It felt fantastic. And it's so great to be here and have the possibility to meet all of you again. So, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends, it's a pleasure and um, I look forward very much to share with you the coming day and tomorrow all the information, everything we can talk about. But first of all, thank you very much to our Spanish colleague, to the Colegio de Registradores, to you, the Dean, to Andres, to Anna, and to all your colleagues for making this possible. To uh, organize the conference, it's always a challenge. And this year, it's fantastic. We are um, having more than 120 participants, and that is quite a lot for being ECRF. But the interesting thing is that we are 45 different jurisdictions from more or less all over the world. That's fantastic. In ECRF, we are 30 members, and uh, today, to yesterday, we just welcomed a new one, Albania. So a special welcome to Albania, to the ECRF <coughs> family. Uh, when I say family, some of my colleagues, and, and sometimes when I bring new colleagues uh, to our meetings, they say, you know, it's, it's like a big family, it's like a family reunion. You know each other, and some of you, you've been there for a very long time. And a special welcome to all of you that have been here for a very long time, but it's also so important with all the new ones. We need to have a lot of new persons to start working with something that we think is very important, and that is to work together. And this year's conference is about providing reliability. And providing reliability is really important if we think that it is important with business registers. And of course we do that. I mean, that's why we are here. We think that we do is important. And it's interesting to see that uh, the view of uh, our work also is going in the direction to see it from, from the outside, from the business community part, to see it from uh, the small businessman, what is his or her needs, and how can we be part of that process. What you see here on the slide is article number two in the Articles of Association for ECRF. And that is, we should work together and we should have this forum to promote collaboration with other international business register organizations and also to facilitate exchange of information and practice between business registers. To do this, we have a lot of things to work on. Collaboration is important. Sharing information. There are more and more demands, especially from the Commission. We have directives coming. We should um, work together with joint services. And some of us, we have been there for quite a long time. We are doing the European Business Register. We are exchanging information with each other. 
But uh, to do this, we need a lot of engagement and we really need to believe in what we are doing. And also to exchange information and something that we will talk about more today is if we are doing this exchange of information and if we are providing the society with our information, how can we make sure that uh, everybody understands what we are doing, trust the information, rely on everything that they have, understand what we are doing, because we are different. And I think that is one of the, the real the good thing, but also sometimes the challenge with what we are doing. We will talk uh, during these days about uh, providing reliability and have different views on that. We will also have a challenge with some video connections and you know that that is always interesting to see how that will work. We will talk about the role of the business registers, the global view, the, the survey, the, all the benchmarking, what can we learn from that, how can we use all the information, all the data we have. We will also talk about us business registers as supplier of, of legal information and providing reliable data. The accessibility of data, but also how can we use the IT, the technology to do this in a very good way. New developments, what is going on, new countries, because we need all of you around the table. But there are some key things to do this in a really good manner, and that is trust and commitment. So we need to trust each other. Do you think we trust each other? <laughs> I, will, I will try one thing. Um, you all have a mobile phone. Can you pick it up? I think that the mobile phone is one of the most important thing you have. And some of my colleagues and I, we were at the conference and we were talking about trust and mobility. And uh, the experiment was that uh, take your mo mobile and give it to the guy on the right side. <laughs> and that person had the possibility to use your mobile for 10, 15 seconds to check what is in your mobile. Is that okay? I, I understand some of you got another mobile here. Well, I hope you will do a lot of selfies during this conference. And I'm, I'm not really sure you should give your mobile to someone else. Maybe not. But if you think about this, and if you think about trust and, and really rely on each other, then we talk about business registration, we talk about data and these things. Of course, we can do this in a very, very good manner. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I have had, had the possibility now to be at both the CRF conference in Abu Dhabi and also at the IACA conference in um, Savannah, Georgia, just some week ago and representing ECRF. And what I can see is it has changed so much just during the last, I would say, five years. And when I came back from, from the IACA conference, I um, happened to do that last Saturday. And uh, do you know what is happening that Saturday in Europe? No one knows? Eurovision Song Contest. And that was the 60th anniversary for the Eurovision Song Contest. And it's quite amazing when you think about Eurovision Song Contest and see all the countries. And we, all, we also had Australia as part of Europe. And I, I can tell you a small secret, and that is that someone put Australia and Europe in our survey also, which caused a bit of trouble, but that's another thing. 
But when we see this, all the changes going on and more and more people around the table and doing business is borderless. I guess you know who won the competition. Yeah, Sweden. I will, but not now. I think that we are all heroes. We are all heroes of the day. Small heroes, and we can really do a change. We can really work together to do this. When I, when I came back, I, I wasn't even sure I've heard the song before the Eurovision Song Contest. But, uh, you know, before the evening ended, I almost knew it exactly. And uh, Monsel Melöv was singing about, of course, heroes. And a hero is, to, is someone doing something that is really making a change and you get famous for it. And I think that we are all heroes in some way. But he's also singing about hummingbirds. And these small birds, they are fantastic. They can, they can fly, of course, they can fly straight ahead. But they can fly, you know, upwards, and they can fly to the sides, and they are, can also fly backwards, these small birds. And sometimes when I think about our cooperations and what we do together, I think the picture of a hummingbird sometimes is very good. Sometimes we take two steps forward, and then we are going in way in some other directions, maybe even backwards. But in the end, we are working together to take the next step forward. Change is necessary. We need to work with um, new things, new technology, new challenges. And if that was not what we should do, life would be quite boring, I think. And before we start uh, what we call a short introduction or a short roll call, I just want to give you some words for these days. And it was said from a quite famous Swede. He was, his name was Folke Bernadotte. And if I translate it, he said, uh, everything possible has been done. Now, let us do the impossible possible. Thank you. Uh, networking and meeting each other is so important these days and we will really try to have all these coffee breaks and lunches and so on so we will have the time to do this and uh, to make life a little bit easier we will just uh, give a short introduction who is here from each jurisdiction and organization so we will go through that and since it's morning and you've been sitting for quite a while please just raise when you see your flag here, so everybody could see who you are. We are not saying any names and so on, and that would take a very long time, but just stand, just raise, so we see who you are. And maybe, I don't know if we can have a little bit more light in the, uh, over the floor, so everybody can see. Okay. Uh, next slide. There we are. Austria. Sleeping. Sleeping. Are <laughs> oh, this start so good? Azerbaijan. Welcome. Belgium. <laughs> Thank you. Denmark. Estonia. Finland. France, 
Georgia. Not here yet. No. Germany. Oh. Welcome. Gibraltar. Ireland. Italy. Jersey. Kosovo. Latvia. Liechtenstein. Lithuania. Luxembourg. Republic of Macedonia. Republic of Moldova. Montenegro. The Netherlands. Norway. Romania. Serbia. Spain. Sweden. UK. And these were the members at the moment, but I, so now we will come to the non-members. Uh, so we, let's go on. Albania, but that's the newest members, but that, member, but that is from the 1st of January 2016, so that is why she's here. <laughs> nice to have you. Next. Then we have organization ASOLAC, and I'm very happy to welcome the president. We have from Canada. CRF, the president. Croatia. Uh, Magda Taliban will be on a video connection during the day, I hope. <laughs> there they are. I know that. Perfect. <laughs> Guernsey. Ayaka. And we welcome the president. Israel. Poland, Portugal, they're not here yet, no, Slovenia, Singapore, Switzerland, Tunisia, United Arab Emirates, <laughs> the
the World Bank, and uh, I don't know if, if she also already is there, but she was, will also be on a video connection during this morning. And now it's my own private, no, <laughs> please go on. ERS. And Foster Moore. Global Sign. And Information Service Corporation. Iris. And Locust Analytics. Tower 81. And um, is there anyone that is here that we haven't, well, missed? Anyone? Please raise. Otherwise, thank you very much for um, this uh, roll call, and I think it's so important that we see each other, that we talk to each other, and take the opportunity to network these days. So thank you very much, and now we will start the first session of today. There will be just a slight change on the stage. Thank you.